What if a single sound could decide your fate? What if your very accent was a death sentence? Well, in the ancient world it was. Welcome to the infamous Shibboleth incident from the Book of Judges. After a fierce battle between the tribe of Ephraim in Cisjordan with the people of Gilead in Transjordan, Gileadite sentries faced a critical problem. How to distinguish their own from the defeated but still dangerous Ephraimite forces? Their decision was brilliantly brutal, a linguistic test. Whenever someone attempted to cross the river in order to retreat homeward, the men of Gilead asked him to pronounce the word Shibboleth. The Gileadites pronounced it Shibboleth, but the Ephraimites, it seems, could only say Sibboleth. This isn't about a mere accent. It points to a profound difference in their fundamental sound systems for the test to be effective. The sh sound must have been completely missing from how Ephraimite spoke. If they could make sh sound, they would have copied Gileadites to survive. The best etymological reconstruction for shibboleth is protosemitic shunbulet, meaning ear of grain. The affricate hypothesis suggests that the protosemitic sh, the ancestor of Hebrew sh, was actually a simple sibilant s. In this model, Shibboleth reveals a snapshot in linguistic history. The sound change from s to sh had already occurred in Transjordanian Gileadite dialect, but not yet in the more phonologically conservative Ephraimite dialect. This means Gileadites had the sh sound, but the Ephraimites did not. This isn't just a historical anecdote. It's a tangible evidence of how Hebrew dialects developed and changed over time and in different regions.